Hey, what's up? I uh, decided I would make a random video. I don't really know why I'm wearing glasses. Okay. Some questions that were asked. One person said, you know, you have a beautiful wife, an awesome daughter, I said I wasn't bad looking, uh, I have talent, and they asked me why I was so lucky and if I was part Irish. <laughs> On the Irish part, no. From my uh, walks through life, I hadn't really met a lot of Irish people I liked. <laughs> Well, I did, but apparently they don't like me. I don't know. I guess I'm just, it's one of those things where I am lucky as far as uh, non-materialistic things, but as far as life in general, I'm pretty lucky uh, financially. Not lucky at all. Another person asked me, what is my favorite way to relax? I really love sitting at home and playing video games. I love it. Or sitting out by the pool or swimming or really just sitting around and thinking. I, I don't watch a whole lot of TV. If I do, it's like Tosh.0, which is absolutely hilarious. My wife actually told me that if we didn't work out, she was going to marry Daniel Tosh. So Daniel Tosh, uh, if you're out there, uh, I want to beat the shit out of you. But I, I mean, I love you at the same time, so I don't really know how that works. Another question was, how dare you? What would your superpower be? I would have the power of levitation. Not so much like I can levitate myself. I can make myself levitate. I can make tables levitate. I can make things levitate. What is my favorite Chuck Norris joke? Uh, when Chuck Norris's wife asks him nicely to do the dishes, he throws them in the trash and tells her she looks fat. Uh, that's actually my wife's, so I can't. I gotta give her credit for that one. That was pretty good. Where did my name come from? Crisco. Okay, this is from my dad. I don't, he said he had a DJ friend that he knew named Crisco Hill. And since my name is, my name is Zills and my real name is Christopher, uh, he went with Crisco. So it's been Crisco since I was born, pretty much. So, and uh, of course, I hated it when I was in school, hated it. Because I knew that if people found out my name was Crisco, they'd make fun of me and all that. And I was already getting beat up enough as it was. So I was like, eh, just call me Chris. So, yeah. So anyways, um, that's what I went by, Chris or Christopher. And then as soon as I was out of school and I realized none of it mattered and whatever people thought about me didn't matter, it was Crisco. How often do you trim your toenails? Um, I don't. I, I pick my toenails with my fingers. Like, I, I pick off the nail and uh, pray I don't, like, pick it down too close to the skin where it hurts. But most of the time I do. Especially that big toe. A big toe, no, it has a mind of its own. What is your favorite childhood memory? Uh, this one Christmas, I got this brand new bike, and it was amazing. Like, it was a big person's bike. Not like a, you know, not like a grown-up bike, but like a big kid bike. And uh, I'd already learned, how to, you know, I wasn't riding with training wheels, but this one had training wheels on it. And I didn't think that, that would really matter that much until I got it on my driveway, which is kind of an incline, <laughs> and floored it, and realized, this thing ain't turning! and I ran into a tree. So the favorite childhood memory was short-lived. What is your worst childhood memory? I went to Smith Lake in Alabama and there was this really big aluminum slide. Like it was just like kind of all the way down like this. There was no curve at the bottom, just straight down. It was like a homemade slide and it had been raining all day. And of course, so we went down the slide. It was just absolutely amazing, such a rush. Well, the next day, it was like 100 degrees outside, sunny the whole day, and we got to it, and I put my foot on it, and I was like, dude, this is hot. And the girl at the bottom, was she was the older girl, she was like a teenager, and I was like nine, and she was like, just go down, you'll hit the water, it'll be fine. I was wearing a nylon bathing suit, went down and got first and second degree burns on my butt. For the next week, I had an ice pack and wasn't able to wear pants. Worst childhood memory. <laughs> What's the most random thing you've seen on TV today? I was watching Fox News earlier, and apparently the new Black Panther part party two years ago said they that the world would be better if we killed some crackers, and I'm all for killing some crackers and some cracker babies. Uh, I'm more partial to like townhouse. I like townhouse because they you got a saltier, buttery taste to it. I like that. But then again, I'll kill some like cracker babies, like some Ritz. Uh, those bite-sized things they got. I work at Food World in Alabama, so uh, they're good. They got like that peanut butter stuff, which I'm guessing is like a caramel mochiato, macchiato, whatever. I don't know if that's like a mixed 
person in Black Panther terms. So, how's the preparation for American Idol going? How's, how's the songs going? Did your vocals good? What's up? I was gonna do American Idol. A lot of people have been asking me about this, but I've decided against it. And the reason being, not because I'm scared I'm not gonna make it, because I think I could make it. The reason I can't go is because if I miss work for a week to a month, I'll lose my apartment. I can't afford to waste a week out of work because we're barely on budget right now. So I am not going to be trying out for American Idol. Maybe next year I'll be 27 during the audition process and then 28, which I believe is the cutoff year. I'm not sure if I'm wrong, let me know. And I'll go ahead and say I'm not ever trying out for American Idol. Uh, maybe America's Got Talent. I might play guitar because I saw this guy who looked, he's a dark complected guy and he was playing guitar and he had his little army looking jacket on and was like in me in I don't really know what that was but that's how he sounded and it was good and all the girls were going crazy and I, I could do that I could do that I don't really know what else to talk about oh I had to grow back my beard cuz I was going crazy without it like I thought I was like oh this is gonna be good I'm gonna feel great but then I realized this part of me all right in here has gotten poofy since I was 16, I don't like it. With the beard, especially when I shave, see? When I shave, you can't really tell it's bad. I have to stay like this. And even then it doesn't, because it gives you the effect that I have shadow there. And there's not shadow, it's just poofy skin. And that's all. You can stop watching now.